So I'm Susan Puglisi. I'm the Vice Chair of the Oral Maxillofacial Hospital Dentistry Department at Christiana Care Health Systems. And I'm Debbie Gigliotti, and I'm the Nurse Manager of the Roxana Cannon Art Surgery Center, which is part of uh, Christiana Care. So our um, medical director, Dr. Stephen Tanner, had the idea um, to have a motorized car to reduce the anxiety levels of the patients, of the pediatric patients and the special needs small patients going into the operating room to um, reduce the separation anxiety. That's what it was originally for. And then um, Debbie's done a, a, a little study. Well, what we found was Steve had worked with a car in Huntsville, Alabama, at a center he worked with, and had a lot of success. And we, um, it's a it's a dramatic and traumatic time that separation between. I mean, it's hard on everyone. It's hard, obviously hard on the patient, hard on mom and dad, and it's hard on us as caregivers. You know, we're we're all there to help, and we we hate to see that anxiety in the patient. So. Um, we introduced the car uh, just to see if we could make it a smoother transition. We always used DVD players, stickers, artwork, anything that we thought would um, be tools of distraction for children that they would like. So, um, for some of our um, autistic children, some of them, there's, we have these tactile toys that they really like, so we have all that. And this was really an adjunct to those um, tools. And what we found was um, we needed much less preoperative PO midazolam. And then that made us think it's, it's very difficult to assess children. You know, they, they can't take a survey about how nervous they are. So uh, for the purpose of this study, the need, the sheer need for midazolam was our assessment of preoperative um, anxiety. And then not needing it was a lack of preoperative anxiety. So what we saw was that once we introduced the car, um, we assessed uh, uh, 200 cases, 100 before the car and 100 after the car. And the need for the medazolam decreased by 80%. And from uh, how much did we have? I think uh, we were... I forget how far, how much midazolam we were given to every. Oh, we had a preoperative sedation rate of 27%, and that dropped down to 8%. So that's a 70% decrease. So it was a dramatic decrease. And then we were able to share the, our idea once we saw that everything worked so well. Um, we're part of a big healthcare organization, and my vice president encouraged us to, to publish it, which we haven't, but we did submit it for uh, one of our awards. We do a lot of research at Christiana Care, and um, the radiation off department, who also serves our whole community for any sort of pediatric oncology uh, radiation. Had we treat unfortunately we treat a lot of children with glioblastomas and um, it's and they have to re have anesthesia in order to be still to have the radiation. Um, actually, getting into the room can be a problem. We bought them a car and it's made a huge improvement for their kids. You know, actually wanting to it's a big deal to go in and, and get your treatment because they get to drive the BMW. Into yeah, the, and it's just so been a it, fun project. Yeah, it's really been good. So. Simple and fun. Yeah, there's no, I mean, we don't have a lot of data graphs. We didn't per have se. to go through an IRB or yeah. anything like that. We just, it was but very simple. It's, it's just been, the, the families love it, the children love it, it's made a big difference. And I mean, it's not for everybody. Some children need more and we supply more. It's never been that we didn't want to um, sedate people. We just wanted everybody to have what they needed, but not more than what they needed. Anyway, see, thank you. Do you see anything else that you might need to improve on going forward? We need to get a bigger car <laughs> <laughs> for some of the yeah, more involved special our, needs. Yeah, they, we need a fire truck or something yeah, for the more involved special It would be nice. Needs. I mean, it's, it sounds crazy, but it'd be nice to find something else because some of our older special needs patients see the younger special needs patients and watch that car and I'm telling you if they could climb in it they would. So yeah. I I think that it would actually work for some adults as well. How did you guys come up with this idea? Like, Dr. Tanner Dr. actually Tanner. had worked with it at another the institution. The just in the picture yet. Yeah. When he was in Huntsville, Alabama, he had he said they had a, a an army jeep and a Barbie car and 
you know. So we, it just took He said, Deb, can we get one? <laughs> we had a lot of convincing to do also, because the administration wasn't really convinced that this would help. So um, it, was, it was a little bit of a rocky road, but they finally approved it, and this is the outcome. So now they're real happy with it. Yeah, now they're happy. Yeah.